Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new AGV Sport Bullet Race Suit available at Revzilla.com. Black only, this is the bullet coming in just over that $500 mark. In the AGV Sport line, this is the first suit we see in their lineup that's going to be that 1.3, 1.4 mil grade cowhide. We've seen the lesser expensive one piece Valencia. Now we have the bullet, then we have the podium, then we have the Imola, then we have the Astra. That's where you begin to get into more of your weekend warrior track guy into pro level racer type category where the suits become more technical. Now remember safety stitching throughout. You are looking at a race grade cowhide and again you're getting a mixture of perforation and non perforation in the suit. Again, going to be rock solid for getting it to the track. Has some external sliders here, GP style, CE rated armor. Again, I would consider this a rock solid entry level suit. And really what you get is some additional sliders and some additional functionality when you take that step up into something like the podium. Now, quick note on sizing. I have Deuce right next to me here. He is five foot 10. He is about a buck 80 and he's an athletic to muscular build. Now he only has a 40 inch chest. So our joke is we need a pec deck fly here at the Revzilla weight room, but we'll work on that. He's wearing a size 40 is my point. So again, American sizing from AGV Sport, you're looking at the bullet having a much more sport fit than something like the podium, which begins the aggressive race fit. And you can see he has a little bit of room in the waist, a little bit of room in the legs. He's an athletic guy. He fits in this suit, but again, 40 inch chest, 40 inch suit, no surprises there. Now, if you're concerned about sizing, and again, there's a, a little bit of stretch on this guy too. It's going to do a nice job. Concerned about sizing, remember we ship for free over 39 bucks. And what I would really like for you to do is click right here above his head, subscribe to Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your question your feedback on our YouTube channel. Hive is Brian's always there to catch it if you fall. Now, diving back into the suit itself. Aggressive, has some temper foam in the guts. You're gonna see that on the podium, which is his big brother as well. Again, you're gonna see high quality zippers, non-removable liner in this bad boy, CE rated shoulder, elbow, knee armor. You do have your aluminum hard parts. On the podium, if you step up, you're getting an extra layer of leather here, but that's okay. Now, if you move down here, let's work our way down the front. You're gonna see the stretch material coming in the arms, sport articulation. Now they use the wind block stretch material. I actually, if that's what I had to call out what I didn't like about the suit, there are two things. The wind block stretch that's on the inside of the arms, which a lot of times when I'm riding at the track, I want to get that airflow. And then there's a lot of seams on the seat, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, if we move down, you're going to see your main connection zipper. Juice down by your crotch. There's another zipper pull. Pull it up really quickly. That's the Wii zipper. If you got to relieve yourself at the track, you now don't have to pee on your zipper. You have the ability to do that. No surprises there. And then moving into the arms, just basic in their construction there. Notice you're going to have the flap behind. It is a non removable liner, but that's kind of one of those get what you pay for type things. You have to make that investment into a higher suit if you want to start to get some of those additional creature comforts. Stretch in the crotchal area, going down towards the knees, you're going to see the articulation above the knee. Now, Juice, turn the face away from me. If you look at the outside of his leg, you're going to see the removable, replaceable sliders. And then as you move down towards the bottom of the leg, America socks. We did that to show you how, this, how the length of the leg terminates. You're going to notice that it terminates with a basic zipper that's going to go inside the boot. Notice the perforation scheme all the way down the leg. He's got a CD boot on his other side. And from the leg, if we work our way down, now you can see the articulation articulation scheme here. So again, solid leather, perforated layer away from your impact areas, and you have a cordian stretch panel, back of the shoulder blade, back of the elbow, and again, you start to see it worked in here along the yoke as you move down into the hip. It does. I do believe there's going to be a, a basic hip armor that comes stock with this suit as well. So again, bang for the buck, flexibility, comfort, ergonomic options to keep you safe when you're riding at the track. Again, you're making just over that $500 investment. It's going to have a good amount of the options that you need while leaving out some of the, the creature comforts or race bread options that you don't. Turn backwards for me there, Juice. Now, if we come back to the top and work our way down, you're going to notice top where the helmet would be is going to be neoprene, allowing him to breathe, allow that helmet to not interact. It's a full-size GP level hump for aerodynamics, as well as keeping you in the slide if you happen to have an off. And then as you work your way down, you're going to notice you're going to have this big area of yoke across the top of the backside, again, for stretch if you're in the tuck, and then working your way down. For my taste, there are too many seams in the seat of this pant. I would have liked them to clean it up when you go up to that podium. The next step up, about $100 more from AGV, you get less seams in the seat. The seat is an area of high impact. If you're going down, you might low side, or you're going to end up on your backside sliding. That's what you really want to do. So the seat is very important. You do know there's a tailbone protection. And then moving down the legs, you're going to see there's a stretch material on the back of the calf for allowing additional breathability. Come back around to the front for me. 
So remember, in the AGV Sport suit line, you're gonna have the Valencia, which is the baby brother. It's 1.0 mil grade cowhide. I don't like it for the track. This is your first viable option with a sport cut, giving you track rated protection to get you out there on the weekend warrior side of things, entry level track day. Black only, sizes up to 64. Actually, that's incorrect. It's gonna be sizes up to 52. They're American sizes. That's still a pretty big boy size there. Next step up to the podium, make sure you watch that video. Make sure that extra $100 to invest is not worth it to you if you're breaking things down, but I do like to help you understand the range you're in. The next step in your journey is to click right here. Click that damn button. You're going to read other rider reviews at RevZilla.com that have bought the bullet. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the bullet from AGV Sport. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. Thank you, Juice, for being here today. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.